Welcome back to another video from Crack Housing Fab. Today on Not So Simplicity, we're gonna work on getting the steering system set up. A new steering wheel, shaft, or a little rack and pinion, uh, but we're gonna remove all the original factory stuff first. All right, guys, thanks for watching our videos. Man, we've had like a ton of growth on Facebook. We're almost to 4,000 followers now. It just blows my mind, and Kurt and I have been like just ecstatic about it. Um, so, if you like what we do, hit subscribe, hit the like button, share it with all your friends and family. We really want to grow our channel and, and get this thing going. So uh, stay tuned and check out what we're going to do. Okay, so the mailman showed up and brought us a lot of cool stuff for Not So Simplicity. So we have some stuff sitting up here that is going to be for future videos, but we did get some things and we got some brake lines, uh, master cylinder, air filter, uh, our gas tank and gas tank mounting straps. Um, but this is the stuff we're gonna focus on today. So we have the bearings that are, we're gonna use to support the shafts, um, a U-joint to make our turn from the bottom up to the steering shaft, a rack and pinion, uh, an aluminum steering wheel, steering shaft. So that's all stuff that we're gonna focus on today. Um, but we've been getting some comments um, talking about and asking about our frame. So we picked up some of this plate steel that we wanna add in um, to help support this. So we're gonna come up with something like this. Um, we'll kind of tie it into the, to the existing uh, chassis of the tractor and then come back and then this will be able to have a plate over top to protect us from being killed by the chain. Um, but, so yeah, we're gonna add this in uh, and then we'll have a spot to mount the seat to as well and this will make the, strong, the uh, frame a lot stronger as well. All right, so we're gonna get started on putting the steering column in and kind of designing what we're gonna do. But first, we're gonna get rid of the original steering wheel and the, uh, all the linkage, because uh, this wouldn't be good at 50 miles per hour. <laughs> this would uh, be death wobble here. Um, so we definitely don't want all this loose uh, linkage while we're going you know, fast and off road. So uh, we're just gonna start by getting all this taken out. I don't think my wife would appreciate me dying in a fiery wreck. <laughs> <laughs> I can get this cable off there. Are you gonna let this thing beat you? Oh, maybe it looks that way. <laughs> oh, and then the thing broke off anyway. <laughs> oh, well. Geez, you keep going, we're not gonna have a tractor left. We're basically down to nothing. <laughs> Don't worry, this is going back on. Um, I'm just trying to figure out the best way to, you know, the angle for the steering wheel, because it's gonna be a little different than factory. Um, but yeah, this is definitely gonna go back on. We're gonna keep the look of the tractor in the dash it looks pretty cool. Got to keep the vintage look. That's so, right. Yep. So we're going to have a new shaft. We're just got to figure out where to put our hole through here. We're keeping it that long, right? <laughs> yeah, you're going to stand up while you drive. <laughs> All right. But yeah, so somewhere in here, we're going to notch a little hole. We have to keep in mind that we have our uh, center jack shaft down here and our chain. So I think it's going to clear it just right. It's kind of tough to see there, but. Yeah, we'll show more of that once we get to that point. Yeah. Cool. All right, let's do it. All right. We're live in New York City. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we don't want to. We don't want to lose these things. Those are kind of vintage. Why did this seem sitting there before? Oh. Yeah, starting it off. It'll be funny when I fall off. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> All right. So. Well, we want to be safe here and with this thing. Hold the rod here. You can't move. You can't steer it with your teeth. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm trying to go that angle because it'll hit the shell yeah. on it. Yeah, we've got to want to be centered on that hole. We need to weld the plate on that angle. That's true. All 
All right, so I kind of marked this where you have the steering wheel and where the angle looked good. So uh, I think next we just take the plasma cutter, cut that hole, and if we have to kind of go a little more either way once we get the shaft through, because like the big thing is missing that center shaft bracket, the bearing down here. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get that cut. It'll kind of show you this. So we're dealing with that center jack shaft kind of being in our way. So we have to be mindful of that. So we're just gonna cut that hole and then we'll go from there. All right, so we were working on the steering shaft here. We got the hole cut. Um, we noticed that we talked a while back, we were gonna raise this about an inch and a half, just to give us a little more clearance here around the engine, because you're gonna have the carburetor and stuff. So we went ahead and moved this up an inch and a half, put a spacer right here temporarily. Um, but actually by moving it up, it kind of made the steering wheel a little more straight. So we're gonna actually cut this slot a little bigger so we can bring the angle back down. Um, but yeah, it's looking good. So we're just gonna go ahead and, go ahead and open this up a little more. All right, here we go. Plasma cutter was really good. For you. Yeah, as you can tell, the plasma cutter did a really nice job. Um, Somebody forget to hook up the air supply. That's what happens. <laughs> and in case you didn't know, plasma cutters require, require an air supply from the air compressor. All right, now this time, the first time we were just kidding. Yeah, they're for real. This All right, so we got the angle sorted out. We cut that hole a little bit bigger. Um, I feel like it's gonna be pretty comfortable for steering and driving. The nice thing is, is with that steering rack, we only need like uh, maybe a quarter-ish turn each way. So it's gonna be pretty easy. We don't have to do like hand over hand. So I feel like this is gonna be pretty comfortable time, by the time we put the foot pegs and all that stuff on. So yeah, I think we're gonna get that uh, bearing mounted now. Yeah, and for the bearings, we're gonna put uh, the bearings right in here. So we're gonna probably have to build a little bracket uh, and mount two bearings here, but we'll kind of lay that out here. Sparks are good, right? Use this cutting. Yeah, sparks are good. Kurt's just over here ruining our bearings. Yeah, I know. But anyway, ooh, ooh, that's a. Yeah, it's a self-leveling or self-centering. Oh, no, that's cool. Um, yeah, for some reason, this is a three-quarter inch OD, and the ID on here is just a little bit too tight, so we're just gonna kind of use the Dremel and kind of open that up a little bit. Kurt finished the precision machining with the Dremel now, so hey. it seems like the shaft <laughs> fits pretty good. Well, the nice thing is it isn't high speed, so I don't think we're gonna get any off balance. But nope, I think we're gonna be just right. All right. <laughs> all right, so we got the bearings all set on the shaft here. We had to, you know, grind the inside down a little bit so the shaft would slide through. But anyway, this is all where these are gonna be. Our angle is correct. I made this little uh, bracket out of flat stock. We're gonna weld this down at the bottom. And this is just gonna be on the same plane with both these bearings. And we're gonna put a little support back here coming back down. So a little leg on the back side will come down from here to here, and we're gonna duplicate it over on this side, and that should be very substantial to hold our steering shaft straight. I don't think you should goof around in the beginning of our videos. You need to take this more serious. I know that's true. <laughs> All right, so we got the brackets all set up. Kurt went ahead and cut everything, drilled everything. Um, it turned out really nice. It's super sturdy when we have the bearings and everything on there. Um, with the steering shaft, everything turns really nice and easy. Um, so yeah, we're, we're really happy with how it turned out. So go ahead and get it welded. Okay, so we got the brackets all welded in. We got the bearings mounted now. Um, it turned out like super solid and 
like it's legit. Um, so next step, we're gonna get the dashboard back on, kind of get that all kind of put back on and bolted. Um, then after that, we have the double uh, U-joint piece that is gonna go down underneath. So it's gonna end up down here on the bottom. Um, obviously, we gotta cut the shaft a little bit shorter once we figure out where we want it. But then this is gonna work its way up to the rack and pinion. And so that's gonna be the next step. And we're gonna tip, tip it up on its side to make it easier to work on. So yeah, that's the next part. All right, so we're working on getting the, uh, the shaft to where we're gonna put the rack and pinion. Uh, it's pretty exciting. We just cut the shaft to length here. So we're gonna put this double knuckle U-joint here. Maybe. There we go. It's pretty quite close here, but it clears, so that's good. Uh, we're gonna do the shaft. We're gonna put a little bearing here, which will kind of build a brace in behind this. And then and so uh, hearts on the floor. kind of put this together here so you can kind of see what we're thinking. It looks like you have three hands. Yeah. <laughs> so that's kind of where the rack and pinion is going to be. So you can kind of picture what we're going to do here. You're going to weld in a little piece of metal between here for the bearing to bolt to. So that should hold it pretty rigid. And then uh, we'll make our tie rod ends. We're going to have to modify these a little bit to go through the smaller hole on the rack and pinion. but. And we're, we're pretty impressed with how it's turning out. We're pretty happy. All right, so we have it all put back together. Uh, we made this cool little bracket here to hold the rack and pinion. Uh, Sean, if you wanna show them up close here. <clears throat> so that came out really well. It works really nice, it doesn't bind at all. Got our double joint here working well. So yeah, we're really happy with how it comes out. It clears this bearing really nice. Uh, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna actually cut these ball joints off because they actually have a little joint in the end of the rack and pinion here. Hard to see. It's kind of hard to see, but there you go. It's right here. So we're actually gonna grind this down and create a little flat surface. All right, so here's one of the tie rod ends, and I actually cut the end off and made this little thing. So basically just cut the end off, ground it down flat, and what we're gonna do is just weld this bolt on here, and this will go right in through this little ball bear, or ball joint here that comes on the rack and pinion, and then this will thread into our tie rod. So that'll actually work out nice, it can still pivot, and yeah, <laughs> it's gonna work out good. All right, guys, so we got everything all set underneath for the steering. Um, I'll give you a little shot of it. So Kurt's kind of moving everything, but we were able to weld those nuts on there and it turned out really nice. And so you can kind of see the tires are moving on their own now. So it's pretty exciting. We're gonna go ahead and tip it back down so we can kind of work out the alignment a little bit. After we trip over everything. Okay. All right, yeah, so the alignment is clearly <laughs> not even close but hey that's something we can work on right now and kind of get it close and then when we ride it we may have to adjust it a little bit anyways so cool next step is going to be getting the plate built to be able to mount the steering wheel to okay so we're going to work on getting the steering wheel mount hooked up so we're gonna we have this tacked on here we actually cut it from the old plate that we cut out of the bottom of the tractor. So we get to reuse that, so that's pretty cool. 
and then uh, the steering wheel will just bolt right to it. So we're gonna go ahead and weld on the inside and on the bottom side. All right, guys, it's been another long day. We've been working on not so simplicity. We have the steering pretty much all hooked up. We've got the wheel, the shaft going down. Turned out pretty solid. Everything works awesome. We're really like super stoked about how it turned out, but one little problem, it steers the wrong way. So what we did by accident, I haven't used a rack and pinion either as Kurt before. So obviously you have to have it a certain way up, um, we have it upside down basically. So what we're gonna need to do, um, we're gonna cut the one of the brackets out that we made today. We'll cut that out, we'll flip everything over and then that way it'll be steering the proper way. So, I mean, hey, we made a little mistake. It is what it is, live and learn. But also, um, if you guys like what we do, you wanna see, make, see us make more mistakes, hit the subscribe button, like this uh, video and Please tell your friends and family about us. We're, we hit 200 subscribers today on YouTube. So awesome. Thanks a lot for helping us get to that goal, guys. So next goal, 500 subscribers. Cool. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching, and stay tuned for the next video. All right, so we're going to get started. Okay, let's start over. <laughs>